Okay, folks, I made a couple pie crusts. And today, it's all about fillings. One, two. I had cheesecake on my mind. I had cheesecake on my mind. And I thought, we have a basic recipe for cheesecake, but we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to make it without flour, and we're going to make it without sugar. And we're going to just see how delicious it's going to be. So I'm going to make a cheesecake filling, and I'm going to show you what I use. Clean eating keto style, just to let you know. Two bricks, cream cheese, two. You want to soften it up. Okay. Let me get my little spatula. I always have to walk away from you once in a while. It's not on purpose, you know. Hey, just soften your cream cheese up. Two bricks. Two bricks. Put your oven on at 350. Mine's already on. Sometimes I forget. You all know that. Okay. Cream cheese. What else did I put in there? I already played with this recipe just to let you know. Okay. Cream cheese. Vanilla extract. Cinnamon. Two eggs. Sour cream. Xylitol. And coconut flour. Okay? So, two bricks of cream cheese. I'm going to tell you, one nice tablespoon of vanilla extract. Yummy. Two eggs. Man, there ain't no rhyme to reason to put in all this stuff in here. You folks, just add it all. You're going to be mixing all that anyway. It's just going to be looking all fine inside of that mixer Louie over there. Hey, two eggs. Then we're going to put in three tablespoons of sour cream. Three. One. Two. Make sure you get it all out of there, too, because otherwise, three. Three tablespoons of sour cream. Somebody's going to love this. I'm on a mission today. I always love to put a little bit of cinnamon in so many different things. Listen to me, cinnamon is delicious. I love the flavor of cinnamon. Who wouldn't love the smell of cinnamon? I do. Let's put a little bit in. You don't need a whole bunch. Just kind of flavors it up a little bit. And then, mazalatol. Now for this, I would put in three tablespoons. One, two, three. And it's okay to taste test this because some of you might like it a little more sweeter. But I'm happy with three tablespoons, but I might taste it again just to see. Three tablespoons of that. And you guys, Supposed to use flour, please don't use flour. This is clean eating keto style, Pamela's delight. Hey! I think I want to blend that first. That's a dry ingredient. Let me do that first, shall I? Look it. I'm using my Proctor Silex little mixer blender. I don't have one of those. What do you call those things that everybody uses? They're really cool looking anyway. Those mixers that you can just throw everything in the bowl with, and I don't know. I don't know how to use them. I want it loud. Just pulled off a minute. I can't help it. I gotta mix it all up. Ooh, this looks good. Listen, I know it's loud, so I'm not going to subject that to you for very long. Excuse me while I have a sip of my coffee. 
Because I feel like i got to wear earplugs too, but I don't have any. So anyway, I'm just going to keep mixing this, and I'll get right back to you. Hey, listen. I know where I got the magic of time for mixing, so that's why I stopped it, so I don't have the subject to you hearing that noise go, whoa, like that, okay? So, it probably took me about a good five minutes, and it should look like that. Now listen, there's a couple of little tiny, tiny, tiny white little, little lumpy bumps in there, cream cheese, but I'm really not too worried about it. I mean, I think it's going to be totally fine. But what I do do, that I don't want you to forget, is this. It usually calls for flour. I don't put flour in this buffet. I use coconut flour. And it will work just as well. Now I put three tablespoons in there. Okay? Three tablespoons of the coconut flour. And then I blend it again. I mix it all up and then I blend it again. So I want you to blend it again with your mixer. Okay? Put it back in there. Blend her all up again. So with the magic of time, I'm going to pause it again because it's probably going to take two minutes and I'm serious, man. I don't have earplugs and this is... Okay, listen. For some reason, I had a little lull in that, so I'm going to share something with you. I added one and a half more tablespoons of olive oil to this. And this is now our cream cheese filling. And look at how that looks. It's amazing. I want to tell you something. This is a basic cream cheese recipe. And you can actually put in any flavoring you want. You can use raspberry. You can use a lime flavoring. You can add it to it, and it's so delicious you can change up this variation for cheesecake any time that you want. You can make it any flavor, and you will love it just the same. People can put mixed berries on it, strawberries, and raspberries, blackberries, cherries even. But that's the funnest part about making this basic cream cheese filling. Keto style. Make it any way you want. You can even make a lemon one. Put some zest in there. But I want you to know something else too, though. This is a bake cheesecake. You can make a no-bake cheesecake. But there's just something so lovely about making a cheesecake that you can bake in the oven and how delicious that is. So, anyway, in saying that, this is how lovely it is. Just like that. Variations are endless. Remember that. You can do anything that you want to do with it, depending on what your flavor is of the day. All right? We're looking at the strawberries in there if you want. You can be very creative. I'm just doing something very basic for you because I have a lot of fun changing things up when I'm cooking. Okay? So take that crust. Look at how beautiful. I did a, I did a video on the pie crust. That's them. They turn out so lovely. Okay, I'm putting it in. Now I'm just gonna, gonna end up filling this up. And it doesn't take very much time, you guys, it really doesn't. But when you fill this thing up, you just pop this sucker in the oven. But I wanna show you it first, and then I'm gonna put it in there. People normally use those foam pans. I don't use those pans. I don't need to have all of that funky, funky stuff, but people can have whatever they would like. And if you have one in there, then go ahead and use it. But I just do a basic pie plate and it turns out just as lovely. Okay? That's that. Cheesecake. Pamela's Delights Keto Style. I'm going to plunk this little sucker in the oven. It's got to bake for... 40 minutes. And through the duration of when it's baking, I'm going to show it to you to see what it's doing. And you guys, it's going to be lovely. This is going to be lovely. This is like dessert gone wild. Cheesecake, keto style, Pamela's Delights. Add any flavor to that. This is going to be your basic for when you want to make a cheesecake. And no, you don't have to go to no bakery. You don't have to go to no place to go and buy it where it's loaded with 20 or more teaspoons of sugar and all that other stuff to go in it. 
We're in control of that when we make it on our own. Okay? So with the magic of time, I'm going to pop this in the oven. And then we're going to see what it turns out like. Okay? See you in a minute. Okay, so listen, you guys. I decided that while that cheesecake is in the oven, I'm going to show you guys how I make my sauce. Which is pretty simple as well, too. I like variations. I have cherries. Listen, I love to pick berries in the summer. One of my girlfriends, her father has cherry trees. I'm blessed with cherries. So I pit them and I freeze them on cookie sheets and I fill an ice cream bucket. So then I have them all year round. I do the same thing with strawberries. I freeze them on cookie sheets and then I put them in a bucket. So then I just pull them out when I want to use them. I mean, I do that with all of my berries. Blueberries, huckleberries, strawberries, blackberries, all on cookie sheets. Just freeze them. And when they're all frozen, just put them in a bucket, mark them, do it, do it, do it in your freezer, and then you've got berries all year round. So, cheesecake topping. Very simple. No sugar required. Just some xylitol, folks. Me and my xylitol. It, once you try it, you're going to realize that, you know what, you don't require all that processed sugar. You really don't. So, I like them a little choppy. So, I put them in my handy-dandy little chopper. I don't moosh them until they're like a uh, non-describable cherry. But, I do buzz them a little bit. Just to break them up a little bit. So that when you put them on the... When you put them on the cheesecake, they're just nice. Because I pit them myself, I found a couple little pits in there that I'm going to get rid of because you can definitely break a tooth with one of these guys. So, just because I can spot them, I'm going to put them in here. Thank goodness they don't ruin my blades. Okay. I'm going to dump this in here and then I'm going to show you the consistency of it so you can see what I mean. And then if I have any more cherry pits in there, I can take them out so nobody's going to choke on them because I plan on delivering some of this to some very special people today. Okay. That's the size. Just make them that size. You don't need to bust it up too much, but just enough so it's still a little bit chunky inside of there. But I make a mixture. I do my strawberries and I do my cherries. And that's what makes it just so nice. It's a little bit messy, but it's okay. And if you have a bigger mixer, you can use your bigger mixer. I just utilize with what I have. This is a pretty generic kitchen and I'm happy with it. Oh, oh, oh. Except that noise. It just means I didn't push it down hard enough. There we go. Oh, you guys, this is going to be so delicious. Just dump it all in there. Dump it all in there. Just And just do one that's like that. Look at I'm going to show you because I like to have a different variation in the consistency of everything. And now that I've done this, I'm just going to mix it up and I'm going to let you see it. Because you want it to be nice, too. You don't want it to look like terribly not. But the strawberries do get a little mushy, so only mush one batch of it, and then it looks like that for the topping, okay? And then the rest of it, even though it's a little messy, put it on your cutting sheet. We have time to do this, so we may as well do it while we're waiting for that yummy cheesecake. Yeah, big old Hinkle's knife, love them. Love Hinkle's. You use whatever you want. Boy, I got these through points. I was so excited to get them. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So just chop this up. Just chop it up in chunks, so at least you have some chunks of strawberries. You could use fresh too, but you know what? I don't know. There's something about it being a little soft and a little runny and not too firm. And it just makes it really yummy when you're putting it on there. So, that's that. 
Let me just get my bowl and scoop her all in there. There we go. Yum. You know, you can buy those frozen strawberries and you can buy some of that stuff and they're already frozen for you. Don't buy any of that pre-canned cherry stuff and all that stuff, you guys. If you look at the sugar that's inside of those cans, I'm telling you they're so fully loaded. It'll, it'll make you gas. So again, my xylitol, I'm never scared to use it. Put it in here. Everybody likes a little sweet on there. Two and a half nice tablespoons inside of there. I'm always about the vanilla. Thank you again, sister-in-law, for bringing me this from Mexico. I'd never say no to anybody. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm never try to ask. It's not like I make it there all the time. And not because that's not an issue, but I'll tell you, if you all know that I love to bake, I'd love it. And I'd treat you. I put a little bit of cinnamon in here too. It's just some things just always give things such beautiful flavor you never want to be without them. Mix that all up. Got your lovely sauce for your cheesecake. All good to go. Listen, I don't mind taking a little taste of this because I like a little sweet. You guys know I like a little sweet, so I like a little sweet. Oh, listen to me. You need to add the vanilla in the cinnamon. That gives such a lovely flavor to so many things. Quite honestly, I don't know how people do without it because if I had to, I would, but I don't have to, so I won't. And you're really going to like it. So, now that we've done that, you know, I want to put one more tablespoon of xylitol in there. I do. Normally, I would put a couple drops of stevia in here. I can't find the stevia for some reason. So I'm improvising. And I know it seems like a lot, you guys, but listen to me. Remember, this xylitol does not increase your insulin level. It is not like a sugar. It's from birch tree. The Swedes use this stuff all the time. And it's amazing. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be enough in here. I'm just going to give it one more taste. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Put it in the fridge. Let it get a little cold. You can make some whipping cream to dollop on top of that cheesecake if you want to. I never really do because it's already full fat. But it's a good fat. So don't be scared. Keto's all about eating good fats. Not things that clog your arteries, I'm telling you. I don't know if I put that thing on there for the cardiologist about keto, but he is so informative and I'm telling you, he's going to give you some insight that's just going to make you shake your head. It's going to make you realize that, hey, some of this is starting to make sense. And you're going to start eliminating some of those things that you've been putting in your body and you're going to start putting in the good things. Listen, I am 30 pounds down. I'm feeling good. Still got a ways to go because I was quite up there. But I'm okay with that. I love who I am. This just means I'm just going to be healthier if I keep on going. And so will all of you if you start changing a few things. Not that there's anything wrong with any of you. Just talking about being healthy and making a couple changes. Okay, while we're waiting for that cheesecake to come out of the oven, this is our sauce. Yum. Yum. Okay. Alrighty. With the magic of time, we'll be back again with that cheesecake. Okay. So listen, I need to show you this. Because a lot of people use a cake pan. That's my timer. It's going off. A lot of people use one of those spring foam pans to do their cheesecakes in. But I want to tell you that you don't have to. And here's proof. Look at my cheesecake. Look at how beautiful that's turned out. Can you all see that? That is not in a spring foam pan. I'm going to take it out of the oven. I'm going to take it out of the oven and I'm going to show you exactly how lovely that is. One moment. Okay. Hey guys.
guys. I just, oh my gosh. You do not, I'm telling you. Look at how beautiful that cheesecake is. Look at it. Ding, 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 ding. Can you see that? Look at how I'm doing that. Look at how beautiful that is. That is a cheesecake without a spring foam pan. And keto style. It's ready. What you want to do now is let this sucker cool, room temperature. Let it cool, because you baked it. So let it sit out, let it cool on the counter. They say to put it in the refrigerator. Do not do it while it is hot. Do not. Let this sit on the counter, because it just come out of the oven. So let it sit. Let it get room temperature. Then you can put it in the fridge for a couple hours, get it nice and cold. And then with that lovely sauce that I had, you put it right on top of it. So with the magic of time, I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to put that little bit of dressing that I made on top of it with berries. And you're going to see how lovely that does look. One minute. Okay, you guys, with the magic of time, after it's cooled, it falls a little bit, see? But it still looks absolutely lovely. That is the cheesecake. Keto style. Now listen, we're gonna cut it. It's hard, check it. Dun, 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 dun. You wouldn't wanna play it like a drum, but it's nice and firm. So we're gonna cut this sucker. We're gonna serve it. We're gonna see how lovely this is. So I want y'all to see the inside. I want y'all to see how nice that crust holds up too. We're gonna take a little pit picture of this and we're gonna put it on my little web page. So you can all see it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This looks so lovely. Cheesecake. Look at how lovely that looks. Oh my gosh. Now the whole thing that makes that look so lovely. Pamela's Delights, keto style. Now I want you all to dig in. I all don't want you to have any guilt about this. I want you to love this up so much that you're just gonna wanna make that all the time. And remember what I said, you can use any kind of extract that you want in there. You can flavor it up any way you want. You can make it lemon, put whipping cream on it. You can still put whipping cream on it if you want to. But this is how lovely that it is. So. Folks, cheesecake. Normally I try it. Today I'm going to serve a couple people this beautiful dish. Because I got them on my mind. Got them in my heart. So enjoy. Enjoy. And now you also know you won't be missing out on something really delicious. Hey. Love y'all. Still got my coffee. Again. Happy cooking. It's so much fun to bring all of this to you. Keto style, Pamela's Delights. Checking out. Have a great day.